What's up guys, I'm bringing you some TDM on Operation Metro and today I want to talk about pets. So I had a few fish along the line a few times but then I realized they were kind of boring and not really worth the effort. With cleaning the tank and whatnot, just got too much of a hassle so stopped buying them. Uh, that was back when I was a kid. So I flushed them down the toilet. Relax, PETA. I'm just kidding. They died of natural causes so I just stopped buying new ones. Uh, we had a dog at one point, but then we had to move, I believe, so we handed it off to a neighbor or whatnot that took it in, so that worked out. And throughout the rest of the time, we pretty much just had cats. Uh, the first one, unfortunately, ran away because it was an indoor cat that we decided to let out a few times. That didn't work out too well, needless to say. He couldn't find his way back home, I guess. Uh, the second one, uh, same thing, we moved, so again, had to give that away, and now I'm on to my third cat. Third time's a charm, right? But now that it's getting older, I'm kind of realizing it's kind of like the fish. It doesn't really do much of anything. Wish I had a dog again, but we don't have the space for it, unfortunately. So I'm stuck with a cat that pretty much just sleeps all the time. Look at this guy trying to kill me. Kind of felt bad for him. I used to buy like toys and stuff, but then I realized I didn't even play with those, so that was just money down the toilet. Like I said, pretty boring pet. Uh, but I guess it's not bad just to have a pet. So I want to know what kind of pets do you guys have? If it's, you know, a Siberian tiger, a wild panda, or something a little more simple like a dog or a cat. Kind of always wanted something exotic, like a snake or whatnot, but I was always too paranoid. It would slip out of the aquarium in the middle of the night and choke me to death while I'm sleeping, but that's probably as far as I would go. I would never get a tarantula or something crazy like that because I'm just too paranoid of snake or spiders. Snakes too, I guess. But I suppose an iguana or a lizard would be pretty cool, but they are kind of pricey, and since the family paid for the cat, it wasn't my purchase. I'm not too worried about it. So I also want to know if you guys have any crazy pet stories. I know one time this guy came into my work with a snake wrapped around his arm and he just came up to the tail like it was no big deal but I think the craziest one of all was at our beach a guy believe it or not came with a leash that was attached to an alligator straight up um, <laughs> needless to say he got kicked out obviously he was scaring kids and whatnot hell I'd be scared if I saw an alligator at the beach he was pretty ridiculous so they call it the animal control or whoever it was. I'm not too sure who takes care of that, but yeah, and he got removed from the beach and he thought it was, you know, no big deal. Um, just like walking a dog or something. Hey, it's an alligator. Don't mind it. Screw uh, Purina. I'm just going to throw a couple steaks and yeah, feed my pet while I'm at the beach. No big deal, right guys? So I want to know if you guys have any crazy pet stories. If you've seen anyone with anything really out of the ordinary, like a bat or something, I don't know get creative or if you yourself are hiding a Tasmanian devil under your bed maybe a gremlin don't feed it after midnight so let me know I'm curious to find out and one thing I want to quickly point out is this map I used to hate honestly when it came out I didn't like it in the beta I didn't like it for a long time after but the more that I've been playing it the more decent it seems to be I've gotten accustomed to it and lately I've been doing pretty good on it so I actually believe it or not like it now uh, it was a pretty solid game. We won. I think it went 21-5, so I'm happy with that. Peace out, guys. See you.